Internal audit is one of the most important tools to identify and monitor operations risks. In many organizations, it may be the only check on operations for adherence to policy and identification of holes in the systems. These holes lead to risk of loss through mistakes or fraud. One of the most important factors to the effectiveness of an internal audit department is independence. The internal audit department should report directly to the board of directors. Consistent training of auditors on the organization's guidelines and systems is crucial for producing correct audit reports. Training staff to identify the cause of a problem from a systems or process perspective is key to correcting the problem itself rather than instances or symptoms of the problem. The audit department should be well staffed so that it can develop the appropriate audit scheduling including the follow-up audits. The MFI should have sufficient audit staff to support the annual audit plan approved by the Board of Directors or Board Audit Committee. One of the major problems I have noticed internationally is that all audits are given the same weight. Using a risk-based audit approach allows an MFI to better utilize and manage its audit resources to manage its risks. This approach improves the successful scheduling of audits as well as the requisite follow-up audits on serious audit findings. The audit department should be viewed as a partner in the organization, not the police. This view needs to be supported by senior management, that the audit department is doing its job to assist the organization to better understand and monitor its risks. In turn, the audit department needs to demonstrate its commitment to the partnership by helping management work through solutions to the problems and to avoid finger pointing when reporting audit results. Everyone in the MFI is responsible for risk management, as risk management occurs at all levels within the organization. However, key responsibilities for the risk management function vary with the roles within the MFI, from the board of directors, to senior management, to the risk manager, and internal audit. Internal Audit's core role with regard to risk management is to provide objective assurance to the board on the effectiveness of the MFI's risk management activities, to help ensure key business risks are being managed appropriately and that the system of internal controls is operating effectively. Internal Audit reports directly to the board of directors with a dotted line to the CEO while the risk manager reports directly to the CEO with a dotted line to the board of directors. The board of directors is responsible for setting the risk appetite for the MFI, approves policies for uh, measuring and tracking risks, and performs high-level monitoring of the MFI's key risks. The Board of Directors responsible for risk management oversight should be independent directors and possess the appropriate management and technical expertise to fulfill their oversight responsibilities. Risk management allows an MFI to become proactive in identifying risks rather than just react to them. An MFI's ability to identify and manage risks proactively is one of the best indicators for long-term success of that organization. There are several key benefits from a proactive risk management approach. Early warning system for potential problems, more efficient use of capital, more cost-effective fund management, and more successful new product development and rollout.
If an effective risk management system is in place, performance results will inform management on how well internal controls are working when compared with, to the risk tolerances. Whether risks are managed within the tolerance ranges set by the board, whether performance is improving, staying stable, or worsening. Primary is the independence and reporting lines to the uh, Board of Directors. Secondly, charters or terms of reference should be established for the audit committee of the Board as well as the internal audit department in which roles and responsibilities are clarified. An internal audit department must be adequately resourced, both in terms of skill as well as budgetary resources. A risk-based annual audit plan should be developed in which all the elements of the audit universe are considered. And finally, the internal audit department must issue effective and timely audit reports.